Hi, it's Miss Julie. Today we'll be reading the National Geographic Kids book called Saving Animal Babies. Amy Shields is the author of this book. The cubs are coming. It is a dark and quiet night at the zoo. The tiger is restless. The zookeeper thinks the tiger will have her babies soon. And she does. There are four new tigers in the world. Tigers are in danger of becoming extinct. That means every tiger is special. An extinct animal is one that is no longer living. Tiger babies are called cubs. A litter is all the babies born to an animal at one time. Eat, sleep, repeat. This is the tiger's first litter of cubs. Some tigers don't take care of their first litter. Without help, the cubs could die, but caretakers at the zoo know what to do. At first, the cubs only need to eat and sleep. Every three hours, the cubs drink warm milk. The cubs have a blanket that smells like their mother. Sleep well, little tigers. Would you like to try a chunky meat milkshake? The cubs are crazy for them. First, the veterinarian checks the cubs' baby teeth. They need to be strong and sharp to chew the chunks. Then the zoo chef buys jars of turkey baby food. He mixes it with milk and vitamins to make the milkshake. Now the cubs will grow even faster. One day, they will be full-grown tigers. A tiger cub is weighed to make sure it's growing well, and you can see they put it in a box on the scale so it doesn't jump away. A long, tall baby. Molly is three days old. She is an 80 pound, five foot tall baby giraffe. This baby should drink three gallons of milk a day, but her mother cannot make milk for her. Molly also has an infection. She needs help. She has to go to the hospital. An infection is a sickness caused by a virus or bacteria. The vet puts goat's milk in a giant baby bottle. She has to hold the bottle up high for Molly. The vet puts a little tube in Molly's neck. It doesn't hurt and is an easy way to give Molly the medicine she needs. And you can see that the, the tube in Molly's neck is held in place by a bandage. Soon Molly is better and back with her mom. Molly is healthy and growing. She is almost as tall as her mother. Wanted, one hairy mom. Remy's mother got sick before he was born. She could not take care of Remy. Orangutans need to be raised by other orangutans. Remy needed a foster mother to take care of him. A foster mother is an animal that is not family, but cares for a young animal like a mom. Madhu is a grown-up orangutan. She never had a baby of her own but she had cared for two other orangutan babies that didn't have moms. Would Madhu be a foster mother to Remy too? Remy is an orangutan baby. Young orangutans stay with their moms for five to seven years. With his blanket and toys, Remy went to meet Madhu. It was love at first sight. Soon, Remy climbed on Madhu's back. And you can see in that picture up above, Remy is snuggling with Madhu. Remy watched Madhu. Madhu taught Remy what to eat. She showed him how to hang and climb. Remy learned how to be an orangutan. Toys for Tots. All babies love toys. Zookeepers try to get the right toy for each baby. Sloth babies cling to their moms. A stuffed pillow works too. Even the youngest monkeys can learn to hang from ropes or chains. 
Elephants love splashing and swimming in water. A kiddie pool is lots of fun. Polar bear cubs like to chase and pounce on a ball. A treat frozen in ice is a puzzle for a curious panda cub. Young tigers like to play with each other. Another tiger is better than any toy. Saving a seal pup. Even ocean babies need help sometimes. Wildlife rescuers saw a seal pup on the beach. Seals leave the water to rest, but this little guy was too thin. He didn't go back in the water. He was in trouble. Rescuers wrapped him in a wet towel and took him to the hospital. They named him Guinness. A wildlife rescuer is someone who saves wild animals from danger. And Guinness is a gray sweet seal, just like the one in the picture. Guinness had a broken jaw. The vets operated and put a wire in his jaw. The wire held the jaw together while the bone healed. Three months later, Guinness could eat by himself again. And in this picture, he's enjoying a frozen fish in ice called a fish sickle. It was time to go back to the water. Everyone cheered when Guinness scooted back to the ocean where he belonged. Backyard babies. Do you want to be a vet when you grow up? You might want to be like Dr. Greg Mertz. People know him as the odd pet vet. He takes care of all kinds of animals that need help. In this picture, he's helping a snake. This three-month-old goose has a broken wing. The bandage works like a cast on a broken arm. This painted turtle has a cracked shell. The bandage keeps away infection. People bring hurt animals to Dr. Mertz. Many wild animals get hurt on roads. Luckily, Dr. Mertz can help most of the animals he sees. Springtime is busy for Dr. Mertz. That's when many babies are born. Animal babies like to explore. Sometimes they get into trouble and need help. Dr. Mertz to the rescue. These opossum babies were found in the wall of a house. I wonder how they got there. An x-ray shows this bird swallowed a fish hook. Dr. Mertz took it out and saved the bird. Raccoon cubs can live on their own after three months. Until then, Dr. Mertz keeps this one safe. A baby starling needs to eat every half hour around the clock. Here are some do's and don'ts. What can you do to help baby animals? If you see um, baby frogs in a pool, Slide a ramp into the pool, and then they can climb out safely. If you see a baby deer or a baby bunny, wait 24 hours before trying to rescue it. The mother is probably nearby. Don't feed ducks and other birds bread. It's bad for them. Do tell an adult to call animal rescue if you see anyone hurting an animal. But don't adopt a wild animal. They do not make good pets. Do prevent pets from harming wildlife. Put a bell on your cat's collar. Keep your dog on a leash. Do pick up trash you see in the woods. Plastic bags and bottles can hurt animals. Don't pick up a baby bird that is on the ground. Ask an adult or call a vet or the local Audubon Society for advice. See if you can answer these questions about things we learned in this book. When tigers are born, they drink milk, are hungry for meat, don't sleep, or sing. Do you know which one? Yeah, when tigers are born, they are hungry for meat. What do young orangutans learn from older orangutans? How to find food, how to hang and climb, how to be an orangutan, or all of the above. They do all of those things, don't they? 
What should you do if you find a baby bird on the ground? Should you run away? Leave it alone and tell an adult? Bring it home? Or give it some candy? If you find a baby bird on the ground, you should leave it alone and tell an adult. You should wait 24 hours before rescuing a baby deer or bunny because it likes to be alone. It might be out getting a snack. The mother is probably nearby or it could be on its way to a party. You wait 24 hours before rescuing a baby bunny or deer because the mother is probably nearby. Where does a seal pup live? In the mountains? in the ocean, in the forest, or in a department store. A seal pup lives in the ocean, right? What do elephants love? Chocolate, reading, water, or doing jumping jacks? We know that elephants love water. We saw pictures of them playing in the water. What kind of milk can you give a baby giraffe? Chocolate milk? goat's milk, soy milk, or milkshakes. Baby giraffes like goat's milk, right? Did you get some of those questions right? These are some of the words we learned in this book. Extinct is a group of animals that is no longer living, like the dinosaurs. A foster mother is an animal that is not family but cares for a young animal like a mom. An infection is a sickness caused by a virus or bacteria. A litter is all the babies born to an animal at one time. A veterinarian is a doctor for animals, called a vet for short. A wildlife rescuer is someone who saves wild animals from danger.